Welcome to this tutorial about the Owners and Authorized Persons section in the Minnesota Provider Screening and Enrollment, or MPSE, portal. This tutorial is for providers who are already enrolled with Minnesota healthcare programs and are logging into MPSE for the first time. In this video, I will show you how to review the Owners and Authorized Persons section of your portfolio and how to create a request to add or update your ownership information. Only persons with a global provider enroller role can modify your business ownership and controlling interest information. This is the first request you should make when you log in for the first time. Let's start by showing you where you can find the ownership information for your portfolio. You will find this information by logging into your MPSE account. The MPSE homepage is also referred to as the Manage Portfolio page. To review the owners or authorized persons for your portfolio, click the Owners or Authorized Persons link in the menu on the right side navigation bar. This will open the Manage Owners Authorized Persons page. If there are owners and authorized persons currently listed in your record, they will be displayed at the bottom of this screen in the Owners Authorized Persons Master List section. For many existing providers logging into MPSE for the first time, there may not be any owners or authorized persons listed on your record and the system will display the message, there are no items in the list to display. If your portfolio displays this message, you must update this information before using the MPSE portal for other types of requests. To create a request to add owner and authorized person information, you will do this on the Manage Portfolio page, which is the home page. Click the home link in the menu to return to this page. All changes are made to your portfolio by creating a request. You can create a request to add an owner or authorized person by clicking the Create a New Request button at the bottom of this page. When you select this button, it will display the Select Request Type page. On this page, you will identify the type of request you would like to make. Adding ownership and authorization is a global request, so you will select this option, provide a date, and click Continue. This opens the Manage Profile Identifier section. As an enrolled provider, this section will already have your information. To add the owner or authorized person to your record, Click the Owners Authorized Persons link in the right side navigation bar. This will take you to the Manage Owners Authorized Persons page. On the Manage Owners Authorized Persons page, use the buttons at the bottom of the page to do one of the following. Add a person, add a business, or confirm no owner role. By clicking on Add a Person, you will add an individual person as an owner or authorized person to your record. By clicking Add a Business, you will add a business as an owner or authorized business to your record. To report that your business entity does not have an owner, you will choose the Confirm No Owner Role button. If you assign a person or business to the role type of owner or managing interest, they will be listed as the owner for all enrollment records contained in your portfolio. For all other role types, you can select each of the enrollment records to which the role applies. For an in-depth explanation of each of the pages in the owner's and Authorized Persons section, click the Help link that is located in the top right corner of your screen. This link will take you to the MPSE User Manual. The MPSE Manual will guide you through the screens when you assign the ownership role, 
and will prompt you if additional requirements are needed. If you would like to add a note to provider eligibility and compliance staff about any of the information you have entered, click the Notes link in the right side navigation bar. Once you are done entering all required ownership or authorized person information, you can go directly to the Submit Request page by clicking the Submit Request link in the right side navigation bar. Select the Submit for Approval button to send your request for a review by Provider Eligibility and Compliance. Remember, you can always track the progress of your requests on the MPSC homepage. The Department of Human Services offers various training opportunities and you can sign up for classes by visiting the MPSC training page on the DHS provider website. Check the MHCP provider news and updates for new MPSC videos when they become available. Thank you.